What's up everyone? My name is Azure Spartan7. Now in today's video, I'm going to be discussing about the next update that is coming to World of Tanks and when we can at least expect this update to drop into the game. So if you guys have been able to follow Wargaming's weird thing that they've been doing recently, they've been doing a lot of personal meetups in public and meeting all their fellow commanders, which is really, really nice. I, I like that side, that kind of stuff. But they have not said a single thing about the next update, which on the PC is 9.20.1, but for us it is going to be update 4.6. Now, this update has a lot of stuff coming, um, and I'm trying to hopefully get it done. Uh, what I'm doing right now, I mean, I'm at doing my needle contract, I'm halfway through the final stage. And I'm at 928 points for the tiger that I'm hunting. So I'm trying to get them out of the way before this update comes. Because guys, I legitimately think this update will be arriving at the end of this month and the first week of September. Because if you guys can remember a while back, Wargaming did state that the update will be dropping at the end of summer. And due to September is technically the end of summer, the update should be dropping around the end of this month or the beginning of September like I just said. But this update has a lot of things that is happening within it. Not only are they upgrading the servers for better gameplay for everyone, because the servers right now are kind of lacking. And, uh, hang on. Sorry, I had to take a drink of water. And the servers desperately do need upgrading. So, along with the major server update, Wargaming, I think, are going to release a few maps as well to bring a few of the original classics back like they've been doing recently, along with maybe one or two brand new ones. But the addition that everyone's after is the Super Conqueror, the brand new British Tier 10 Heavy Tank, as it will not be replacing the FV215B like it did on PC. Like, Wargaming is going to be adding it to, I think it is below the FV's current location on the... Uh, British tech tree line, which is pretty nice, and it goes to show that they're actually trying their best not to remove tanks. Now, worst case scenario, we have to earn 250,000 XP, along with 6.1 million if we already want to get the tank. I mean, if you have the chir uh, Chieftain along with the FV, then it might be different for you. But no one knows for sure if it will be different or not. But... A few of the other exciting things that are coming within this update is uh, quite a lot, actually. We're going to be getting a lot of tanks upgraded. The FV215B will not be, be the only uh, tank on the British Tech Tree line that will be getting something changed to it. The Challenger, Carnivan, Centurion, FV4005, and the, uh, the Conway will also be tanks getting something done to them. Wargaming have stated that this is going to happen because they need it to. Well, they don't actually need it to, that's a lie. <laughs> but a lot of people are complaining that the tanks are severely underpowered and they need upgraded. And in Wargaming's own fair statement, they do. The Challenger really sucks as a tier 7 British tank destroyer. The Conway does need a better gun. Its armor is quite nice at this point in time. But that is about really all that the Conway is. It's a nice supporting tank. As for the Carnivan, it's going to be getting its turret changed around, along with the Centurion Action X, believe it or not. That will be another tank that will be getting its gun and, sorry, its turret changed around. Now, aside from the uh, obvious updates of the British line, there's also going to be a lot of tanks getting their HD skin. Uh, I think the Churchill 1, the KB-4, and there's a few other tanks will be getting their updates for their skin. Now, on top of this as well, we also got the Patton is going to be getting its more futuristic look with the update, which is very, very nice. Wargaming are running in that one in. And uh, I'm trying to remember what the other tank is that they're also going to be bringing in with this. I honestly cannot remember, as it is too uh, complicated for me to really say that I'm an idiot at the end of the day. And I'm pretty much dead. <laughs> but alongside all of these tanks, guys, it will be a really big update. Now, for us on the Xbox 360, 
so long as Microsoft doesn't fuck us around like they did with update 4.5, we should be able to update and play the game on the day of the release. But due to update 4.5 being so difficult and Microsoft not giving us the correct uh, patch update, unfortunately we had to wait an extra two more days of 4.5 before we could even play. It wasn't entirely bad. Anything that you did have, I mean I had premium, Wargaming happily refunded me for that due to what obviously happened. But this update will be one of the biggest updates that we have ever seen yet. So on 360, I'm guessing the update is going to be maybe 2GB, and on the Xbox One and the PS4 side, I don't know, I'm guessing you guys might end up getting a 5.5 a or maybe a 6GB update. Because this thing has a lot of things coming to it. If you guys want to know what all's coming, Wargaming even stated a few weeks ago that anything... Sorry, half of the things in the patch update notes from 9.20.1 is going to be making it into update 4.6. All the tank things are going to be making it in. Anything to do with a tank, it is going to happen. But obviously there's some other things that will not be happening. Uh, I think there's going to be like rank battles and different stuff that PC was currently having at that time. That's not going to be coming in for us, obviously, due to we've just passed our rank battle match. And nothing can really be done. But alongside that, as I said before, maybe some new and old maps will return. I'm kind of hoping for China Wall to return because they did bring back Pearl River, which was an iconic map four years ago when this map first came to World of Tanks. And thankfully, Wargaming has not changed this map at all. They have left it the way it is. Dragon Ridge, on the other hand, they did change it around. I do prefer the other map. The older version of the game but I can't complain I do like the newer one so long as I can get a team that knows how to play it now on top of that obviously um, we're gonna be having I think maybe some more of our mercenary tanks added because they did state wargaming that when the mercenary tank update came out that there will be more added over time and obviously 4.6 is a pretty big update, so maybe they'll slip in one or two more brand new mercenary tanks for us to go after and for us to go and uh, win ourselves. But obviously we do not know if that is true or if that will even be happening, so only time can really tell. And I'm not sure who that was just shooting the living crap out of the back of my tank there, so I will just move on and pretend nothing ever happened. Casually. But anyway, guys, that is really all that I have for the update. I mean, nothing else can be said. If Wargaming does release um, any more statements or even some more news about what is coming within the next few weeks, because it has to be in the next few weeks, or else Wargaming will not be keeping up to their word. Uh, I really hope they do. But in the meantime, we never know. So, unfortunately, I am the only tank that is currently all the way over here on my flank on the zero line. So, I'm going to have to go concentrate, guys. So, I'm going to end the video right here before shit hits the fan. And I will see you all within the next video. And hopefully, it will be a tank news update for you guys for 4.6.